Welcome back to our SIU Medicine Minute. Joining me today is Dr. Haitham Bakir, a pulmonologist and sleep specialist here at SIU Medicine. Doctor, thanks so much for joining me today. Thank you very much. We're going to talk about sleep apnea here. So for those that have never heard of this before, tell me what sleep apnea is. So sleep apnea, by definition, when patients stop breathing while they're sleeping. So basically, most patients are a bit overweight and they snore. So snoring means the airways are halfway closed and this vibration, it, it um, induces uh, snoring sound. And when the air was closed off all the way, and the brain will start to wake up to help patients to breathe, and that's restore the tone of the upper airways, and they start to breathe in again, and the oxygen level goes back to normal. And then in a minute or two, the same cycle happens, patients start snorting again, and then the snorting sound happens, and they, they stop breathing again. And, and this happens frequently, sometimes 10, 15 times an hour or more. And and with that grows all the symptoms of sleep apnea. So what are some of the side effects that come with sleep apnea? So when patients stop breathing uh, during the night, there's too much stress on the heart and lungs and sometimes to the brain. Patients may have um, high blood pressure, heart disease, uh, uh, rhythm problems like atrial fibrillation that happen from uh, patient when they stop breathing at night. And, um, and plus the sleepiness during the day from waking up frequently at night, they feel dozing off and sleeping, uh, waking up in the morning, non refreshed as if they haven't slept, although they slept for seven, eight hours at night. So if someone thinks they have sleep apnea, how can they find out to be sure? So they have to be aware of it and raise this awareness to their primary care and other sleep study. Sleep study is an outpatient test where they have some wires on the brain and chest and, and oxygen level. And, and during the sleep study, we'll find out if the patient has uh, sleep apnea by watching the patients. And then once that's um, diagnosed, they proceed with the treatment. And what is that treatment for if you're diagnosed with sleep apnea? So the main treatment is uh, weight loss. When patient overweight, losing weight will help a lot. Uh, besides that, uh, doing CPAP, which is a pressure mask that uh, patients sleep with it at night, uh, helps to uh, open up the airways and restore the oxygen level and the brain uh, sleepiness. And a patient feels much better in the morning. And um, of course, losing weight and, and then watching over the uh, other conditions uh, will, will help too. Dr. Haitham Bakir, pulmonologist and sleep specialist here at SIU Medicine. Thanks so much for joining us today. We really appreciate it. Thank you. For more information, visit our website at siumed.org.